Okay, folks. This is the AK Cobra Kai. I mean, the AEK Cobra Adder. Top loading crossbow. Howdy folks, it's Mark here again from Zombie Hunt. And today we're gonna to have a bit of fun with this puppy right here. It's a top loading crossbow. Okay, it's from EK and it's their Cobra Adder system. It's lots of fun. We're gonna get straight into it and then I'll let you know what I think's good and what I think is not so good. Okay, but without further ado, we'll start in a very zombie theme taking out a zombie leader, okay? This bad boy here, yeah? An evil looking dude, if I dare say so myself. Okay, so, to start with, we cock it, safety off, point. It's also got a nifty little red dot laser sight. So you can take out that dude. And again, cock it, safety off. Gotta stop that evil horde taking over the world. Taking out the zombie leader. Safety, sometimes you forget it. He looks bloodthirsty. We've got to stop him dead in his tracks. Things, this is my last shot, I think. I might have loaded in there. No, one more to go. One more to go. Oh, always watch for that sometimes. It's a, quite a strain when you cock it. If you're not careful, you can easily let it slip through your hands. Okay, right, now I'm out. So as you'll see, it's relatively easy to cock. Pull that down, click it in place. One thing you have got to watch for, as you'd notice there on that uh, last shot there, it can quite easily slip out your hand. And in actual fact, the first time I did this, I tried to cock the, uh, the little fella here and uh, it did exactly that. It slipped out my hand. And uh, in essence, what happened is it had a nice little handle here. Okay, and this little handle, used to attach on a Picatinny rail right there, okay? But what happened, I dropped it as I was cocking it and that little puppy snapped clean off. So not very robust. That said, it's not really needed. As you'll see, he can hold onto the handle that's right under there like so, okay? So no great shakes. What I would also say to watch out for when you're shooting this bad boy is never leave your, your thumb resting here, okay? Because that little gap there, as it fires, gives a nifty little kind of kick and a bit of a pinch. And it can pinch your thumb and it's not very pleasant, let's say. So keep your thumb well clear from there as you shoot it. Other than that, it's a blooming damn good bit of kit this is. Lots of fun. Okay, so uh, what I'll do now is I'll show you how it loads, which is uh, dead easy. Okay, so first off, there's a little lever here. Pull that up, no problem. And the, uh, the little bolts, okay, just drop into the 
the top aperture just there. Let's just grab a few. Just have a grab a few. Okay. Take one more. Okay, so we've got a load loaded in there. Dead easy. Drop that boy down, click it into place, and you're good to go. So we'll just fire a couple of shots into that styrofoam head and see how it copes. Just load a couple of bolts into this. Wow, let's go for four. Put that in place. Let's see how we do. Safe, oh. Cock it. Click it in. Awesome! So that didn't do too badly at all. It went straight through. Straight through the nose. And into the top of our target here, by the looks. Okay, not too shabby at all. Just in case there's a shadow of doubt. Taken out clean. Okay, I've got a couple of shots left in this. So let's just pop them off. All good, good to go. So the official bolts for the Cobra Adder by UK are these puppies here. Yeah, and they pretty much work out just under three quid a bolt. Yeah, something like two pounds 70 or something like that, okay? But these ones here, these are Nika's uh, bolts, okay? And they work and out at uh, just under two quid uh, a bolt. So quite substantially cheaper. Still really, really good quality, as good uh, a quality as the official ones here. In fact, I actually prefer these. They, uh, with the red on them as well, they're easier to see when they penetrate the target. So, uh, highly recommend the Nika bolts um, for your Cobra Adder. Yeah, a lot more cost effective, great quality, and uh, yeah, can't recommend these enough. So you can pick up one of these in the UK for about 350 quid, um, which is not, not, not bad at all in terms of the, uh, the fun factor that you actually get from this. Um, other than kind of dropping and snapping that one piece off, like I said earlier, it actually feels very robust. Um, I have had no issues with any jams at all in the top loading magazine cassette. It's dead easy to operate. Just got, got to be careful that it has got quite a heavy uh, pull strain well it's 130 pounds uh, draw draw weight but that lever does need a, a little bit of muscle to kind of click in place and with the uh, shiny almost kind of shiny it's a bit slippery the uh, the plastic here so it, it can as you've actually seen and I've demonstrated it can quite easily slip out your hand when you're trying to cock it um, other than that, it's absolutely loads of fun. Um, and if you've got a great place like this, where you can shoot safely, uh, in control, it's a lot of fun. You know, I can be shooting this all day, blasting all kinds of things. Great for shooting uh, melons, grapefruits, all those kind of things, as well as obviously the zombies that are coming into play within our zombie hunt. 
So now we're going to uh, unpack the uh, Cobra Adder from the uh, the official EK travel bag. Okay, as you'll see, it's a nifty little travel bag. In all honesty, you can uh, stack your bolts up along both sides, which actually look pretty cool, and keep your bolts kind of nice and safe and secure. We unzip the bag like so. I'll show you how it's all packed up. Okay, so uh, you do have to obviously disassemble your uh, crossbow in order to fit it in the bag, but there's compartments for each section of the bow, as you'll kind of see there. All nice, uh, safely secured as well for travel. So nothing's gonna kind of rattle about uh, and damage um, each other as it's kind of clashing around. So it's all kind of safe and secure as you uh, as, as your travel, basically. So let's unpack it. Starting with the butt piece. So there's just Velcro straps that secure each piece. We've got the main crossbow there, the magazine, and of course the bow piece itself. Okay, so we'll take those out and show you how it all comes together. Let's just get that to one side for now. Okay, so to start with, you'll notice you've got a screw piece here. So just screw that out. And we use that to remove a couple of the, uh, the little securing lugs. As I'll show you. So there's one securing lug just here. If you see that, so I use this piece just to push that out until it clicks. And then from there, we can load the bow piece, stick your little securing lug back in, and then that's puppy, that's that puppy done. Okay, dead simple. Okay, so the next piece is the butt piece. Again, another little securing lug at the back that we can kind of push out. The butt piece then just clicks into place and away you go. And then of course you can set it to suit accordingly. And then last but not least, we've got the magazine itself. Okay, so you'll notice there, just put that down, two securing lugs here, okay, metal kind of rails. So they just slot on there like so, click into place, and then you've got the piece that we removed earlier that just screws into there. Like so. And there you have it, that's your EK Cobra Adder assembly, dead straightforward, nothing to it really, once you've done that a few times it becomes sec second nature. What do you say Walking Fred? Yeah, even Walking Fred can do it and he's got no arms. And then of course to uh, disassemble it, ready to pack it up, again, start with that little knurled knob. Take that out, like so. Slide off your magazine. Push out the little retaining pin on your stock. Remove that, like so. Push that back in. Same again for your retaining pin on your bow piece. 
slide that off, push that back in. Don't forget to replace this, you don't want to lose this. Incidentally, what is nice is the bow itself does come with a spare one of these. So uh, that's a nice little touch, just in case you do lose one. But try not to lose it. Okay, folks, that's the AK Cobra Kai. I mean the EK Cobra Kai. Top loading, magazine fed, semi-automatic crossbow. It's a bucket load of fun for everyone, that's for shit sure, Sherlock. For now, I just want you guys to remember the three rules of zombie hunt. Stay safe, shoot safe, and be safe. Until next time, where we'll have another bucket load of fun with something completely different. Take it easy, folks. All the best.